Here's every major operating system explained in under 10 minutes. Windows. Windows is the most widely used operating system for personal computers in the world. It was created by Microsoft and first launched in 1985, initially as a graphical interface for MS-DOS. It has constantly evolved with iconic versions like Windows 95, XP, 7, or 10 that change the way we interact with technology. Windows is what we call a general-purpose operating system. That means it can be used for a wide variety of tasks, from browsing the internet, to video editing, programming, gaming, or managing complex networks. It's a graphical OS with a window-based interface, hence the name, menus, and icons, making it easy to use even for people who aren't very tech-savvy. On top of that, it can run on a 300 euro laptop or on a high-end server, and it offers quite a bit of customization. However, Windows isn't exactly a symbol of simplicity. Updates can be intrusive. Errors often have obscure codes that are hard to decipher without a PhD in Googling problems, and the system can become unstable if you push it too hard. Also, because it's so widespread, Windows is a primary target for viruses, malware, and cyber attacks. And to keep it running well over time, Windows needs maintenance, clearing temporary files, regular updates, and sometimes even a full reinstall. Mac OS Mac OS is the operating system created by Apple for its computers. It all began in 2001 with Mac OS X, and since then the system has been continuously refined. Versions were named after Big Cats, then Mountains, and later Californian Landmarks. It's elegant, stable, and extremely well-optimized, but only for Apple hardware. Within a tightly controlled ecosystem, Apple offers a fluid experience, so you don't deal with weird drivers or compatibility errors. On top of that, Mac OS is recognized as one of the most secure operating systems out there. For example, it's a popular choice among creative professionals. Video editing, music production, photography, design, Everything just feels smoother on Mac OS. However, customization options are limited, and installing apps from outside the App Store requires extra steps. Also, gaming support is minimal, almost non-existent. Linux. Linux is probably the most important operating system you never see. It's based on the kernel created in 1991 by Linus Torvalds, a Finnish student. Although it started as just an academic project, Linux quickly became a solid foundation for modern operating systems, acting as the core that connects software with hardware. Distros like Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, Debian are built around this kernel and provide complete operating system versions. It runs on the servers that power the internet, on Android phones, on supercomputers, routers, smartwatches, cars, and yes, even on some laptops. But when it comes to desktops, it suddenly becomes a niche club filled with enthusiasts, hackers, and terminal lovers. It's completely open source, meaning anyone can view, modify, or distribute the code, even you. If you're in the mood, and patient, very patient, it's extremely stable, even under heavy use. Most of the world's servers and critical systems, like those at Meta, NASA, or Google, run on Linux. It offers strong security, can run on old hardware or modern laptops, enterprise servers, or IoT devices. However, software compatibility is limited. It requires advanced technical knowledge to use. And if you're coming from Windows or Mac OS, it might feel like stepping into a plain cockpit. Chrome OS Chrome OS is developed by Google, built on the Linux kernel, and designed primarily to work with web apps and online services. It comes pre-installed on laptops called Chromebooks, which are optimized for speed, simplicity, and security. It's ideal for students, teachers, office workers, and anyone who wants a hassle-free system. In the beginning, the interface was basically just Google Chrome in full-screen mode. But over the years, Chrome OS has grown into a full-fledged system, with support for Android apps, Linux apps, and a complete graphical interface. It's extremely fast at startup and during use, offers strong security with automatic updates and sandboxed apps, full integration with the Google ecosystem. However, without an internet connection, Chrome OS becomes almost useless. Yes, there is an offline mode, but let's be honest, most of its functionality lives online. Android. Android is a mobile operating system developed by Google, first launched in 2008. 
Today, Android is the most widespread mobile operating system in the world, running on smartphones, tablets, smartwatches, TVs, cars, and many other devices. What makes it so widespread? It's free and open source, which means anyone, especially phone manufacturers, can use, modify, and distribute the system. It's flexible. Want a 100 euro phone or a 2000 euro flagship? Android can power them all. It's customizable, from icons and widgets to the kernel itself, if you're up for it. It also features the Google Play Store, the largest mobile app marketplace, and strong integration with Google services. However, there are a few downsides such as software fragmentation, the result of hundreds of Android versions customized by manufacturers, which often delays or skips system updates. Let's not forget the presence of bloatware. Many phones come with pre-installed apps from manufacturers or carriers that can't be easily removed. iOS iOS is the mobile operating system developed by Apple, exclusively for the iPhone. It was launched in 2007 alongside the first iPhone, and it forever redefined what a smartphone could be. Back then, it was simply called iPhone OS and didn't even have an app store. Today, it's a complex ecosystem, extremely stable, secure, and tightly locked within Apple's walled garden. All iOS apps are distributed through the App Store, and every system update is directly managed by Apple across all compatible devices, even on models that are five to six years old. As for downsides, being so tightly controlled, you can't install apps from outside the App Store without using unofficial methods. Also, iOS is designed to work best with other Apple products. Integration with Windows, for example, is limited. Customization options are minimal, and some apps or services available in the App Store can be more expensive than their Android alternatives. Unix Unix is the grandfather of modern operating systems. It was created in 1969 at Bell Labs by AT&T and was designed as a portable, multitasking, multi-user system, deeply influencing the architecture of today's modern operating systems. Unix is built for serious systems. It features a command line interface, is difficult to install on regular PCs, and it's not designed for everyday consumers. For example, JP Morgan, the largest bank in the United States, uses IBM AIX Systems, a commercial version of Unix developed by IBM. It's also worth mentioning BSD, an open source operating system derived from Unix. It's known for its stability, security, and performance in server environments and infrastructure. Netflix uses FreeBSD for its streaming servers, and so do PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So, operating systems are everywhere around us. Some stare us in the face every time we boot up our laptops. Others run silently in the background of servers, cars, satellites, or even watches. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.